Is it all crescent dough? No. Is it Pillsbury? No. It's okay if it is. It's filet fish Inside? Mm-hmm. You're lying. Today is your request. And you requested make a giant filet fish You've been requesting this several times over several years. And we have not been ignoring you. We're only ignoring all the other requests until we do them. There's a special group of people living on planet Earth, the type that will just bite right into a Kit Kat, Ugh. or only eat the crust of a pizza, or enjoys low quality fast food fish. We call those people weirdos, because being weird is 100% better than being normal. Except for people who eat the McRib. We call those people disgusting. I'm kidding. So on this episode of Your Request, you also requested do a versus video. So today, you're gonna to be getting a two for one because Julie and I are going to be competing against each other to see who can make the best giant filet fish It's gonna be me. So the first thing that we wanted to do was make our large bun. We're mixing together all of the ingredients that go into bread. You know, we have to activate yeast, and then after that happens, we have to add like, oil and eggs and flour and stuff into a big stand mixer, which happened to break. So should I go buy a new stand mixer? Yeah, that happened. Let's let it rise. We grab up huge pieces of cod. Look how big these pieces of fish we found at the grocery store. This is absolutely perfect. We had to do what any person would do when they're trying to oversize a big folio fish. We had to make a big fish patty. And we're doing that this time with meat glue. So it is actually creating an effect to make the proteins in the protein connect to the other proteins by creating more protein. And whatever JP's doing probably has absolutely nothing to do with actual food. Uh, can I get a dozen filet fish A dozen? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, uh, what is it, day four at this point? She's not inventing the wheel, she's inventing a tool that builds a wheel. Like, come on, like, what, what are you doing? And, you know, I'm just hanging around the house playing some Raid Shadow Legends! It's not sponsored. Um, but I do like that game. Okay, now, we got four hours. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make a big cheese slice. But we're not gonna make a big cheese slice like we've done before. This time we have to do it different. All right, we're gonna pour some in here very carefully. Whoa, mother. So into that, we're gonna put some gelatin. Milk powder, Velveeta. And what did it do? It made a power outage in my house. <laughs> Uh-oh. We poured it all down on type of a large pan. Now it has to cool. Tartar sauce is literally just mayonnaise and relish and like lemon juice and maybe some seasoning. Look at it, it's a little loose. It's okay, it's like JP. It's setting in the fridge, waiting to never ever cook or never do anything. She's probably breeding fish to make this and then milling her own flour to make the bun and then milking her own cow to make the cheese and then inventing tartar sauce. Tartar sauce, cheese slice, large fish patty, bread. I'm ready to batter up. We prepared a huge, bigger than ever deep fryer. We put it on top of some real lit up fire and we got that oil on, heating up. So our breading station needed to get prepared. In order to make it the most authentic texture, we needed to make sure we took our breadcrumbs and we blitzed them into a fine, fine powder. So now that we have our breading station set up, we're gonna go ahead and bread it now. Look at that baby, it's beautiful. We're ready to deep fry. You're on my team, okay? Yes, I'm ready to make a filet fish Three months have gone by and uh, Julia's almost done with the filet fish and I'm ready to compete. I get out of bed, I don't brush my teeth, and I go to Publix. What's a filet fish guys? Let's think about it here. Steamed bun, rectangular slice of American cheese, filet fish patty, tartar sauce. That's it. I grab myself cheese, tartar sauce, and Pillsbury dough. How do I be victorious while putting in the least amount of effort. So I get to the drive-thru and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna order a dozen filet fish And then it occurred to me, a dozen might be confusing. Maybe I should just say 12, but I said a dozen. All right, can I get a dozen filet fish Like, you want 12? How, how many? So the manager comes out and she goes, do you want 12 filet fish or a dozen? And I was like, uh, I'll get, I'll get a dozen. Yo, check this out. I didn't even plan it. Right here it is. It's out of the oven. How'd we do? 
JP, can you leave? I don't want you to hear my secret. Oh, it's so satisfying. Or if you are gonna be here, I want you to be here for your response. Tyler has a friend in the bakery at the grocery store. You cheated. I didn't cheat. You cheated. No, nope, it's called a collaboration. They made the bun? So you wasted all that time explaining how to make that bread? I didn't waste time. I they made... had to listen to you show them how to make the bread. We made that bread, but, but then we swapped it out. It didn't come out good? It came out perfect, except this one was a little bit more buoyant. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see if this works. Can we make a bun out of all of our buns? We'll just put all these tops on it. And then wrap Pillsbury dough around the buns. And of course, to get that nice golden top, I you know ran over to the studio. I need eggs. You need eggs? I said you're done. I, I mean, I'm just gonna make myself an omelet. You did one egg? <laughs> one egg. <laughs> Watch you. I didn't have a brush, so I just I rubbed it all on there, popped it in the oven, and boom, I'm telling you, like 10 minutes later. Ooh, this looks looking good. Sorry, I didn't wash my hands. Don't worry, I'm the only one that ate it. Except for my friend. If we're gonna make a filet fish, let's use filet fish. Woo! The fish! So, to make the giant fish, I got a square pan and I started stacking all the filet fish, all 12 of them, into this pan. And lo and behold, it actually came into the shape of a rectangle, which again, I thought the filet fish my whole life was square, but no, it's like rectangular. I didn't know this. They really do just give you a half slice of cheese. What kind of nonsense is this? And, uh, you know, I thought it would be a smart decision to use uh, tartar sauce as the glue. Tartar glue. Super smart. And then realizing tartar sauce is a, like, like an oil-based lubricant. And no, it did not. It did not freeze. But, all right. I got my bun. I got my filet fish patty all frozen up. And it's time to compete in person. What's up? I'm just thinking about how disgusting what you made is. What? <laughs> what? Dude, she walked over here and just stared, death stared me in the eyes and just said what I did was disgusting. Okay, so I got my filet fish I got it in the pan, uh, I take it out, and at this point, reality just kicked in. This thing did not freeze together. I don't know if the camera captured it, but I'm borderline miserable at this point. I don't have any time. I'm not gonna burn another day. That's more failure than me just failing. I toss it in the egg wash. I toss it in the breadcrumb. It's falling apart, whatever. I'm basically just re-battering battered fish. PR me, we're gonna get through this. Now we have all the ingredients. All we have to do is deep fry. Before we know it, we're lifting that thing out of there. We check the temperature on the inside. Let's see what it looks like when it comes out of the oil. Wow, that is pretty darn freaking accurate. That, that's amazing. So I didn't stop at this point. I'm like, screw it. I grabbed my giant bun and I cut this bun in half and oh my gosh, it is probably the most Disgusting. Interesting, not disgusting, probably the most interesting thing I've ever seen in my life. So there's just buns inside? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was able to use the bottom as the base and then of course stack some American cheese on top. Deluxe American cheese, by the way. Uh, let's be honest here. You don't have to do any Bill Nye crap to make some cheese. Half cheese slice. So I got the filet fish on top. Perfectly deep fried golden brown filet fish patty. And I, of course, add on my globs of tartar sauce. And then we added on tartar sauce in different areas that look good. Then of course, ending with that perfect Superfluous bun, made of buns. The Inception bun, the Chris Nolan bun. And boom. A giant filet -o fish made from 12 little filet -o fish. That, my friends, is a giant filet -o fish. And the filet -o fish were on a buy one, get one sale. One giant bite for the health of it. I pretty much had to buy three things at the grocery store. Dough, cheese, and tartar sauce. And let's be honest, authenticity, a taste. Oh my God, hell yeah. Who really won this competition here? Mine. That's because you had McDonald's filet of fish in it. You're gross. I win. For the love of God, look at this thing. I'm like literally so proud. Who loves filet fish just as much as some people out there? The P-Man's victorious.
Once again, and Julia worked very hard to lose. And I feel bad for her. Why work so hard to still end up a loser? I never lose. Lou who? The her. You can't say that, but someone else said that. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. All right, JP, real quick. What's your go-to coffee order? Uh, I like to get a caramel macchiato, but sometimes I like to do a cappuccino with a little bit of froth. I don't want it to be too wet. <laughs> I like a flat white with one squirt of caramel or uh, iced coffee, black. Sorry, just Instagram questions. Okay, we're done. Okay, let's go.